Hi everyone. Now we will talk about controller in Laravel. First of all, I let you know what is controller, how we can make controller, how we can call controllers uh, with routers, how we can pass data from router to controller. Then we'll also learn how we can call view from the controller and how we can call the nested views from the controller. All right. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions. These questions will definitely help you out in the interviews. So let's move on. First question: What is controller? We know that. Controller is a part of MVC architecture. MVC means model view controllers. C actually denotes to the controller, right? So what is the main work of this? Controller actually handle the request from the user and perform operations according to that, right? So let me uh, explain this controller with the help of this diagram. Then again, we'll come back to these points. So for example, if you are an end user and if you are visiting a website which is uh, made or written. With the help of Laravel, so whenever you will try to open this website on your browser, the first code that will execute that belongs to the controllers, or you can say that the request will go to the controller first, right? Then controller will identify what he has to do according to the request. So either it need to display the data, right, or either he have to perform some logical work or uh, do some database related things, right? So, for example, if a uh, controller just need to display some uh, static view file, then what it'll do? It will directly open the view file and display on the browser. And if controller need to do some database related things or perform some logical thing, but actually do it will uh, again send a request to the model. Model will perform the operation according to the request. Then that data will come back to the controller again. And then controller we send this data to the view and to the browser also, right? So that's why we can say that controller is basically handling the request from the user, and according to that it will display the data or handle the database or perform some logical operation. Or there is second term also if you want to just need a second definition you can say that controller is a sec uh, central unit in the Laravel that handles the user request model and view and all. All right. So now let's see how we can uh, create a or how we can make a controller. So for that, you need to visit on your command line and you can stop your execution if you want. Otherwise, you can open the another terminal also. All right. And what you need to do? Just clear the things and put put there PHP artisan make and colon controller like this. And after that, you can put your controller name. For example, I'm putting there, putting there user controller. So whenever you are making any controller, it should be start with the capital letter. This is not necessary, but this is a standard. Whenever we are making a calls, whenever we are creating any controller, it will automatically create a class inside this, right? So uh, with the class, we always start the file name with the capital letter, right? Okay. So whenever we will just hit a enter it will create a file and where it will create a file let me show you inside the app http and controllers folder so for now there is only one file which is controller.php which is by default file and if i'm hitting enter there now you will find this is also displaying the path where this file is created and if you just come back to the code here this is right so this is your controller name and this is your file name okay so now inside this, if you want, you can create any function also. So that can be used to uh, work with the browser, right? So let me create a function and function name can be, let's say, get user or something, right? And inside this, let me return. This is an else do or something. At, put, at last, don't, put, don't forget to put the semicolon. So now controller is ready. How we can call it on the browser? How we can call this controller? Simply you have to go in the route file which is web.php and now simply put there route colon get and inside this you have to put the uh, name of this controller file, this one. But there is a one more thing. First you have to import this file on the top. How we can import? Simply put there use and then path of this file. So here you can see that path is app, HTTP, controllers and then. So you can simply put there app, HTTP, HTTP, then simply controllers, 
right and then your file name which is user controller right and there is some chance maybe you think like i will forget this part so there is a simple way also so whenever you will create any controller there is a namespace here you can see that so just put there use this namespace and then file name like this so now you can see that both are same right so you either you can type or either you can copy the namespace and then your file name all right and after that what you need to do inside the this get request so there is a two parameter first one you want to the path that you want to show like get you can simply put there user and in the second one let's create a array and then again in this array there should be two elements first one your class name and then colon colon class and in second one the method that you want to call so my method name is get user like this so i hope now it should work fine so let's visit the browser and i am putting there user okay so why this is not working because we have to start uh, the laravel server right we can test it and here you can see that we are getting this is a analysis tool perfect similarly if you want to create one more route that is also possible so let me create one more uh, for example about what i'm doing there about user right and here you again you can see that this is anil siddhu hello this is anil siddhu or something whatever you want to put there right but why i'm creating the same route i'll just uh, give you the reason we will pass the dynamic data there right so if you want to make one more route for the about function so then you can say that about and then your function name which is about user and if you will just try to access this about you will see this is working fine so the thing is we know that how we can uh, call the controllers from the router now but let's say if there is some data uh, maybe they are like about a nail or about sam or something right and we want to access this data then how we can do that first just put their slash and then put any variable names for example i'm putting name now you can access this directly inside the uh, your controller parameter function parameter and now you can put this name like there dot dollar name it should work here you can see that this is sam this is anil let me show you what actually happened so this name will passed to the web.php first and from there we are passing this to the controller and we are getting this name right anything we are passing we are able to get it let's say peter uh, tony anything perfect all right so the next thing so let's say we want to call some views because in the architecture right there we are saying like view can controller can call the views how we can call them let me show you so first let me create some views also so inside the view we have one file only so let me create one more which is user dot blade dot php right and let's put there h1 tag and say user file or something right and then inside this we can simply put their return or after this comment i'm putting there return view and inside this let's your pass the file name which is user don't forget to put semicolon at the last and now if i'm trying to access the user then you can see that user file is coming there perfect similarly let's create one more file which is about dot blade dot php and there we will just for a moment let's put there about file then we will pass dynamic data there also right so you can copy this comment pass there and put there about now if you will call this about 
panel you can see that we are getting this about file but we want to pass this data and display this data in the view file also so in a second parameter just create an array put any name let's say name and pass this dollar name param now inside the about what you need to do you can say that hello this is and then double curly braces put dollar name and you will get this nine name there this is Sunil. this is sam right because from there in controller we are passing this name uh, key inside the array to the blade and there we are accessing this so the what are these double curly braces these are this is the blade template things so inside this code will be php code can be executed right we'll create a separate video on this blade thing in soon and they will uh, uh, learn uh, blade things in a detail all right okay so the next thing and last thing is how we can call the nested views uh, right nested what is the meaning of nested view so let's say in a view we have a file which we have a folder admin and in this admin we have another file which is login dot blade dot php right and then if i'm putting there login file how we can call this file because there is a folder also first right so for that what you can do let me create one more route and i'm putting there admin login or something right there you don't need to pass the second parameter so you can remove it you can simply put there first folder name which is admin dot login like this all right and uh, this you can call from the web.php there you can say that route colon get uh, and you can say that uh, admin login or something right and uh, in the second one you can say that user controller colon class and in the second one you can say that about uh, not about actually the function name is this uh, admin login right now if we'll try to access the admin login in a new url so let me try to access admin login okay so the few argument passed zero let me see what's going on there yeah we don't need this dollar parameter and now let's see this is working fine so this this way you can create a nested view if they are inside any folder that's all for this part i hope you enjoyed that video if you have any doubt question query you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much and this is my paytm donation if you want to do thanks guys